Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a like first impressions and show off and review of the Krauss and Becker electric paint spray gun. I recently had this on a haul from Harbor Fried and I was asked to do a demo or like uh, with a gun. So I'm just going to show you um, that this is only a water-based paint and stain sealer uh, paint spray gun and it is electric it is not they had a battery uh one but we got the electric um and it was 19.99 at harbor fray and this one says how to get best performance and extended the life of the sprayer it says strain paint before use clean immediately after using flash all components truly be sure to flush the primer tube completely and it include of course the paint ours obviously is going to be a little bit messy because i already we have already used it uh plenty of times with different color paints we used white uh, my husband used white i use brown and then we use purple for the demo that we're going to show you this is actually the second time i record this because the first time i didn't like it but um i'll show you the second part of the video when we when my husband sprays paint um so it included the gun included the container where you put the paint and it also has this little other baggie which has a um a fennel a plastic fennel and um, another what is this called another um, uh, what it oh my gosh I went a uh, blank uh, the primer tube uh, this is the primer tube it has two primer tubes um, let me see let me take them out here you go it includes um, four nozzles it says it includes four nozzles, two uh, for latex paints. It says two zero thirty two, two zero point zero thirty two inch for latex paints, two zero point zero twenty two for one with extended tip. That's for the four nozzles and a cylinder assembly, and um, that's what it is right here. It also had this little funnel that I was talking about. For you to like strain the paint into the bucket here it has this other thing which i have no idea it it has also a a book there it has this needle thing it has two of the nozzles i think and this is another of the uh what do you call them the flush primer tubes and this is the inside of it's inside as well and that's how it looks outside let me open it so you can see the inside. It has the bucket right here for you to paint. And there's there is the uh, primer tube. And um, that's one. That's two. I think that's another little thing for like thing uh, for paint. This one has is still the purple paint from before. But that's how it looks. Um, it is easy, very easy to, to do. Uh, for like ladies, it's very easy. The only thing that it, it kind of vibrates a lot and your forearm does get tired. Um, it, you do get tired because it makes a lot of uh, like vibrating thing. I, at times I had to hold it with two hands, but it's easy. It's easy if you hold it with one hand, you kind of pause, like go and pause and let go and then do it again. I was doing it constant, like with one flow. So I did get tired, but I did finish really fast. I do recommend it. It's for $19.99. It's not bad. And you get the job done really easy and really fast. And I'll show you now um, the paint uh, gone in.
Tell me a picture where you're going. Okay. Okay. have cleaned it out and put the paint sucker thing back in. You just need to put it back with water so you can wash it off. And you need to fill that little bucket up with paint whenever you need to paint. And whenever it's ready to be filled again, it makes the same noise that it was making right now that it has no water, it makes the same noise. Recommend to put a little uh, filter so you guys for paint instead of dumping it from the, the bucket into the container because you might get a little of, um, stuff in there that may clog the gun. So just buy some, um, some um, those uh, paper filters that they sell for paint. It says that it's only for water-based water paint or... Um, so water based anything like for wood paint wood paint or paint for the wall or anything like that it's just water based not oil based and it's uh, it's hooked up to the electricity it's not battery motorized and that's how it look since this was a pegboard oop um the surface of the pegboard is kind of like very very smooth so you can still see like the lumps of the paint but this is where from where he started from but as soon as like you can see the gradation to where the end that there is no lump like this but for $19.99 it's not that bad and you get the job done pretty quick and um, I painted that dog's house and my pig's house under 10 minutes and that was with exchanging and refilling of the bucket of paint about um, I think I refilled it about three times, but that is the Cross Becker um, spray paint gun, 1995 from Harbor Freight. That is all for today's video. I do recommend that you don't leave it with paint uh, after you finish more than five minutes because it will get clawed so you want to clean it out as fast as you can when you're finished other than that that is all for today's um review and show off of the cross and baker paint spray gun from hover freight this video is not sponsored uh we did bought it with our own money so there is that subscribe if you haven't done so and if you did thank you very much and whoever asked for the for the preview for the show off here you go you're welcome bye